Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. It's Maddie and Matt's with Spectrum Art. Thank you for that intro. Yes, guys, hi, it's us, we're back again. And today, what are we making? Because we have a big old mess, Madison. What are we making? What um, is this? Legal envelope traveler's journal. Yes, we are mimicking a traveler's journal uh, by using our legal envelope. So we're continuing on our series on what to do with your legal envelopes. And today we're gonna be making these. These are so cute. We started, we haven't actually finished this one but um, it is using two legal size envelopes and we're gonna go over the materials and with it you get to make pockets and then you'll be able to add a signature and like I said we haven't um, finished this one it's not sewn in so we're gonna go ahead and do that but we wanted to kind of walk you through it as we finish this one and make a new one we'll make it together so let's go over the materials that we're gonna need let's just dive right in what are we gonna need Madison pretty scrapbook Paper. Yes, you're gonna need um, scrapbooking paper, pretty paper. Um, it could be scrapbooking paper. What else, Madison? What else make could you? Own. They could make their own. That's Which correct. Spray the uh, paper. Right. You can use oxides and all that, or uh, homemade sprays to make your own um, as well. But um, what oh. is it? No, but what? Oh, Let, so you need to be thick to get the. Um, oh yes, yes, you're right. It's gonna need to be um, thick. And the reason why is because you're gonna need uh, to make sure that you give the envelope some stability, right? Um, they're just envelopes, so they're pretty flimsy. But if you notice, once you actually um, start adding your paper, it's it's thick, it's not going anywhere. So that's what we're gonna be aiming for, to give it some strength and thickness and stability uh, to our envelopes. What else are you gonna need? White glue. That is true, we're gonna need some white glue. Um, I'm sorry, before I forget, this is the paper pack that Madison picked, and I love it. We don't usually work in purples and stuff, um, but this is such a really... It's very pretty. It is, right? It's got the purples, blues, Green. and greens, and pinks, like, all mixed together, and even some burgundies. So, brown. yeah, so it's going to be fun to play with this one. It's called Secret Garden Collection by Bow Bunny. But, okay, going back, so we're going to need white glue, and what else? Or fabric, fabric or tacky. Yes, and why are we gonna need some either fabric tack or some Eileen's uh, tacky glue? Why are we gonna need um, one of those? Because we have to glue the ribbon. That's right. Oh. So we're gonna need some kind of a glue that can actually adhere a ribbon, and you're not gonna need much. And of course, the ribbon is just, optional. Just mm -hmm. a dab. It's just a little bead. Um, the ribbon is optional. You might choose to do a different closure, maybe a magnetic closure. So or, that's that's optional. What? Or a hair tie thing. You could do use the hair tie thing. Absolutely. What else are they gonna need? Page for our signature. Yes, we are. So, um, and you could use any kind of um, paper that you have for your signatures. These are what, Madison? Tea dyed paper. Yes, we made these tea dyed and they're so yummy. So we're gonna be using some tea dyed papers. Um, and here we used um, some music sheets too, because we thought that was perfect for that collection. Um, it's all about the music, right? Yep. And so we thought that one perfect. Um, what other pages could they use? Any other ideas? Book pages. Yes, you can actually tear out your book pages and use them. If they're not long enough, um, uh, you can always go ahead and use washi tape and you know glue them down the center uh, in order to go ahead and make them uh, long or tall enough. What else? Coloring pages. Yeah, yeah, you can use coloring pages, okay? Yeah, we can use any kind of paper. What else are we gonna need? Um, magazines. You could use magazines, I agree. Yeah, any kind of paper, Madison. What else? Ruler, scissors, or paper trimmer. Right, so ruler and scissors. If you have a paper trimmer, this is Madison's paper trimmer. I used a guillotine, but oh, and it's full of glue, Madison. But you could use a, um, a trimmer as well, sure. What else? Um, ribbon for a clothes. Oh. Mm hmm. Ribbons? Most, sorry, one time. What? Most important thing to legal set envelopes. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> It'd be kind of hard to make the book without envelopes, right? Um, and again, we're using two legal size envelopes because we're continuing to work through the box that we had found. Yep. Um, and then, of course, as she mentioned, ribbons. So That's we picked fun. some, yeah, we picked some that we thought would be a good match. So, but we'll see. We don't know. This is a dark purple, a burgundy purple with green. Yeah, she picked some really cool ones. I love this one. This is my favorite. So I'm kind of biased. I'm leaning on this one because 
it's butterflies, but we'll see. I don't know what paper she's gonna pick, so it all depends on that. Actually, why don't we do that? Because that's all that we need, right? We yeah. went through all of our supplies, so gather yeah. up your and, supplies. Oh, distress, distress optional. Yes, um, distressing is optional. Actually, let me grab our uh, distress. So, if you think that you're gonna distress, make sure you grab that, or your paint, or your markers, or whatever or you, you wanna pen. distress. Gel pen. Right, whatever you want to distress with. So, let's look through our paper and see which ones you. Oh, got to open it first. Hang on. Tape together. It huh. is. It is. It's still sealed. Let's open that right up. And then, oh, I just noticed I have the most beautiful bracelet ever on. <laughs> I picked the rubber band off the floor, and here it is. All right, so let's. Um, woo, we got to make room. All right, let's look through our paper and see. Which um, one? What happened? Still sealed? Yeah, I thought this. I thought it was only one seal. But we can look for the pad and. Uh, oh, look at that, guys. And yes, I have to go sideways. Sorry. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looks like a nest. They do look like nests or, or like those head right. wreaths, yeah, that you put on your hair. Oh, we're going to have to cut some of the ephemera out. Let's see where it actually starts repeating. Um, let's go from the front. I don't know where it starts. Well, what's the first one? Here we go. That one. that one. Okay, so we'll start from this half. And you tell me when you see a page that you want. Hmm? No. Of course, I lean in the pinks, right? Um, okay, we're going to need the ephemera, that's for sure. So let's take that out. What else? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So is that. So rich. Oh, look. Don't you just love paper? You could spend, I could spend all day looking at paper. Madison too, so we better decide. Here's more ephemera. Let's take that out. Oh, look at the birdie. Mm -mm. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, that's cute too. Look. What? That's cool. Yeah, that could be one of them. Let's keep that in mind. That's beautiful too. Oh, the birdies. Those are gorgeous. That one. That one? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That goes really well with it. So now let's find something that goes with it. Um, this goes well with it. No, no not your cup of tea? Okay. That one. And that one? Okay, yeah. it could be, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that, that's got some of the purples and stuff. You're only going to need um, two 12 by 12 sheets, by the way, guys, to make these. So not, that's one. Not the small pads. No, the small pads. One. Oh, look at this one. What about that one? No? no? Oh, that one. How about the one with the bird? No. Or this burgundy one right here. How about this one? Yes. That one? Yeah. That's a cool one. Okay, cool. There you go. We've got our two sheets that we're going to be using selected. And we've got our ephemera. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up here. And then we're going to go ahead and start putting it together. Okay. Okay, we're going to need a total of four pieces of paper to cover our envelopes. So we've taken our 12 by 12, and you can see that we've already cut it. But I wanted to show you what it actually looks like. So these are the two pieces that we're going to need from each page. And they're going to measure three and three quarters by nine and a quarter okay because your envelope is actually nine and a half by four so again that meant the measurements are three and three quarters by nine and one quarter you're going to cut two pieces out of that left we're going to have these left over yes sir. don't throw your pieces away yeah these yeah don't throw anything away right what do we use these for tugs and pockets right and also for our flaps and i'll show you here in a second so that was the first sheet and here is the second again we need those two pieces that are three and three quarters by nine and a quarter and then we'll have these left over and you're going to keep those to the side in addition to cutting out these four which we're going to need right you're also going to go ahead and trace the flap of your envelope onto the pieces of paper like so and the reason why is because we're going to be covering Where's that other one? Flap. Yes, we're going to be covering the flap on both the inside and the outside. So you're going to need those two um, as well. So you just trace it lightly with a pencil and then you cut it out by hand. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, distress mm -hmm. our envelopes. 
and our pieces of paper and our flaps. And then when we are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and start getting ready to glue down. So it's also important that before you glue anything down, you think, okay, do I want my ribbon to go on the outside, such as this, or do you want to hide it? Right, exactly, hide it underneath. So like that, right? Um, so think about that because once we get to that uh, point, then you wanna go ahead and make sure that you either decide before that whether you wanna do it on top or underneath, I should say. Okay, so we are up to that point. Um, before we go ahead and get gluing, I'm gonna go ahead and distress everything and cut out my flaps, and then we'll, we'll be back with um, all the pieces glued, and we'll be back with um, our ribbon as well, right? Because we would have made that decision by then. And then we will go on to the next step. Our papers are distressed, and most of them are glued down. So we have this so far for the inside. We've done the flap as well, and this flap, and we've distressed, of course, all of our envelopes. We have our front glued on, but not the back. And the reason for that is because I wanted to come back and actually show you guys. Now, ours actually have the um, the sticky um, pull tab thing, but I mean, it's just a matter of gluing, and I'm, I am gonna reinforce it with glue no matter what. But I wanted to show you guys that what you wanna do is make sure that when you're gluing your envelopes together, so you're gonna take that flap, and that flap is gonna get glued this way behind to the back of your envelope. But you don't wanna go all the way completely flushed like this. You wanna give yourself a little bit of room so that you have, um, and not much, I'm talking about you know an eighth of an inch uh, of a border, so that when you actually go ahead and close your envelope it has a little bit of a room for a gusset right there we go not too much perfect okay and so it's gonna look like this you see that small gap right there your pockets are now both facing out this way and to press down on that I'm gonna flip it over to show you what it looks like and again this is where you need to decide what you want to do with your ribbon now uh, we changed our mind after going through them we actually found this really beautiful um, vintage um, Swiss um, yeah Swiss um, ribbon that we had in our stash so we've decided to use that now it's so pretty it's all sparkly that we're not going to go ahead and put it underneath if you were going to want it to to have it on behind then that's where you would actually decide before gluing this down so now we go back to um, this piece and we're going to glue that down while all of this is drying our next step is going to be to go ahead and um, you know start thinking about what we're going to do with our signature so you need to pick out your papers and you'll need to go ahead and trim them down right um, depending on what it is that you're using if it's bigger size papers and most of them will be and uh, if you want to distress, if you want to tea dye, if you want to spray papers, I mean, that's also what you need to be um, deciding at this point in time. So let's go ahead and glue this down real quick. I think we got plenty of glue on there. Again, it's just paper on paper, so it's not going to go anywhere. And this is why I like the wet glue, because I get to reposition it. Um, okay, and there we go. Perfect. Um, Again, our pattern did not require for us to think whether it was gonna be uh, right side up or upside down, so that didn't matter. But of course, you do wanna be cognizant of that if your, um, you know, your design, um, your paper design does require for you to have an up and a down. And now we're gonna pretty much glue this to the back. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut our papers. Now, for your signature papers, you're going to go ahead and need um, as many as you like, uh, depending on how fat you want to go ahead and spread this out. That's how many papers you're probably gonna be able to fit in there. But these are sufficient for what we wanna do. And because we're gonna go ahead and put some embellishments. Again, we've cut out our ephemera, and I guess I should show you that, right? Cut those, we've cut all these, all those pages that we had of ephemera. Some of them are probably gonna be too big, although we could actually trim them down. Um, those as well as all of these so um, you know you we want to go ahead and put some of those here so I'm only going to go ahead and use four sheets of paper which is going to give us eight pages total 
Uh, and again, this is our tea dye paper, our homemade tea dye paper, which is so pretty and yummy and crinkly. So you'll need to go ahead and cut your papers to measure seven and a half by nine and a half. So they're gonna be nine and a half tall, right? That's gonna give you the height of the envelope. And then you're gonna go ahead and do seven and three quarters. So nine and a half, seven and three quarters, and you're gonna fold them in half and they're gonna fit beautifully right in there, okay? And then of course, um, we're gonna go ahead and decide. So once you go ahead and cut those, you're gonna decide whether you want to go ahead and sew those in with a sewing machine or if you want to go ahead and hand stitch them that would be totally up to you for us we're going to go ahead and hand stitch and um, i'm actually going to show you the tool that uh, madison's going to be using to to do that we actually bought this really i just want to make sure this is nicely glued on here um we actually bought the uh, we are memory keepers uh signature sorry focusing on gluing okay let me bring you the tool and i'll show you what it is that we are doing This is the We Are Memory Keepers um, signature. I threw away the, oh no, I didn't, yeah, I did throw it away. So I don't actually remember the name, but it's a signature. Um, oh, it's, it's just a signature Is that what it's called? Okay. Um, and so we're gonna use this tool right here, which is so awesome. And I can do a video on how to use this if you guys wanna go ahead and see it. But the reason why I got it is I usually hand stitch um, my stuff, but uh, for Madison, this was awesome we are oh we are memory keepers book binding there we go um, and it comes with all of these tools and it comes with a little booklet and it shows you the different stitches that you can make but basically this takes the guesswork out of having to stitch plus it holds it down for you so we'll be using this um, to go ahead and sew hand sew the signatures in okay um, so when I come back, I will actually have all of that already prepared for you guys. And um, we're probably going to go ahead and pick our ephemera and uh, distress it and do all the placement. So we will come back and show you the finished project. Uh, if we think of anything else as we're actually going through the process, then we'll go ahead and write it down. Uh, and when we come back, we'll make sure to give you those pointers. So we'll see you in a few minutes. And we're done. Here is the final project very very cute and Madison kind of went crazy on this one as far as adding pockets oh what did I just do there we go she's like mm hmm <laughs> so I'll share with you um, yeah the amount of stuff that she actually packed in here so there's a pocket there actually it's a double pocket because this is a pocket too so and it says this makes me laugh yes it does it makes me smile we open up this way. We have a pocket here, and then a beautiful bird. Some of the um, images were kind of large, so we took advantage of that and actually folded the papers in half and made them, you know, double-sided um, elements. And so this one's got this really pretty bird, and then, oops, and then on this side, it's got this really pink bird. It's so cute, he's all fluffed up. Um, and then down here, we have another pocket. You still have plenty of room to journal. Um, a double pocket here. Again, some of those pieces were large, so we cut them. So be creative with the ephemera that you have. Um, here we have, oh yeah, yeah, there you go. There's a tuck there, up there. And then this is a pocket. And this says, take time to smell the roses. Absolutely. This is the center fold. So we went ahead and created two tucks on either side by cutting that paper in half and then you know gluing it back down and it says what a wonderful world isn't that a beautiful image it just is and there's another one of our feathered friends these are um, let me show you guys these are um, these little squares right here so on some of them we went ahead and just cut them and then rounded the corners uh, and some we used as tucks but that's what those are. Again, this is another one of those really beautiful pieces. Oh, look at the little berries on there. Uh, and then we use some of the coordinating snippets to go ahead and give that page a little something. Uh, did she make a pocket of this one? No, this one's just glued on, but this one is a tuck. 
And then we have our little bird. And then our last cover, which says love this. And remember that we still have, on top of all that, right? We still have our pocket here in the front where we can tuck all kinds of bills, pictures, uh, notes, whatever it may be, receipts. And then we also have the one right here. And in here, what I've done is, because obviously we're not done, we still need to go back and make some tags and all that. Um, and so what I'm doing is I've taken all the ephemera, all the leftover pieces, so all of these are still in there. Look how much we still have left. So it's gonna be so much fun to go ahead and uh, and create some of the scrap pieces, right? We didn't throw those out. Oh, look at that one, how beautiful is that? And some more of the uh, leftover pieces so we can go ahead and make those nice big tags that we want to. Um, and they all neatly store in here until we are ready to go ahead and do that. But just like that, we now have two really, really cute, adorable um, journals you know, uh, made with, believe it or not, two envelopes. That's basically what we use. So we hope that you guys will give this a go. Uh, we hope, hope you like it. Yeah, we definitely hope that Let you like it. Let us know which one you, you will like. Oh, you want to know which one they like best? Yeah. The music or that one? Well, we didn't really show this one at all, but that's fine. Let us know if you want to go ahead and try it. We'd love to hear some feedback from you guys as well. So do let us know if you do. Once again, we want to thank you for always stopping in and supporting thank you, and checking out the videos and hanging out with us. Please don't forget to go ahead and share this in your groups because we are hoping to, um, to grow the channel as well so we can bring you even more content, right? Thank you so much, you guys, and have a blessed day. We'll see you back soon. Bye.